So I'll just right click on that particular surface so I can match this side with the other side. Doesn't look all that great, but oh well. Here, maybe I should fix the alignment a little more. Maybe go upwards. There. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that one. And apparently uh, that didn't work too well. So I'm going to have to align it manually. So there we go. Yeah, good enough. Not perfect. And what I'm going to do with this particular uh, house here aside from add add a window I'm gonna add a window somewhere um, do, 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 where are we? we're right over here I'm gonna add a window maybe a couple of windows or something Now if you want this to uh, match up, what you could do is you can um, you can move this inside and press um, CSG subtract. What that'll do is it'll solidify it. Um, and of course, if you make a mistake on alignment, that's yeah, there's going to be some mistakes, but oh well. So we got some we got some windows for the top floor. And I'm going to add a door on the bottom floor. Um, maybe just a wood door here. And let's see here. Let's get this. Let me move it out so I can align it. Note I right click on it. Press S. And from here you can actually scale it. Make it look bigger. Make it look taller. And then realign it. If it doesn't look right, let's see here. Yeah, good enough. There, and that's gonna be that's gonna be our door. And I'm gonna not, gonna CSG that in there. There we go. So there, there we go. We got a basic two-story house with maybe a little bit of windows, but that's about it. And we got a little door here, and then what this door is going to do, um, I'm going to I'm going to teach you how to link two maps together, and I'm going to show you how to make this uh, make this into a hub. So first thing you do is you're going to select the door, right click, um, and then you're going to select template brush from the uh, from the options. What that does is it turns this into a uh, it turns it into a template object. Then I'm going to press N. I'm going to go in global, and under miscellaneous doors, Um, well, you could do that, or you could just do a tracker thing. You don't have to go in the doors. I'll just add a tracker thing to it. This is important, though. you got to add some sort of either a tracker thing or some sort of door um, template to make this template brush be interpreted as an object. So from So now that this is an object, we can apply a script to it. So we can go into overrides, go pick a script, and this goes back to the fact that Embrace cannot read dot class files from a knob. 
it can only read it directly from the folder and notice it goes directly into that folder so now we can uh, navigate to um, a specific script that we're going to use for our hub it's called um, I think it's either called click exit or yeah it's going to it's called click exit and we're going to apply that specifically to our object to our uh, template brush so we go apply and now it's been applied to the selected template brush and it's now considered a tracker thing two steps very important to start uh, to to make a clickable exit that'll link us to another map on our hub and that's going to be part of making a chronicle file so now that we have that um, we can press shift C while the object selected and you'll see here an exit number well currently that exit number is set to zero what we're going to do is we're going to set this to one on this location I'm going to set that to 1. By pressing enter, what you do is you click into the value, you press enter, you type in the new value, and you press enter again. And then you click apply. Now you're ready to exit out of there. And what we do is we're, we're going to match, we need to match the exit number with the player start types that we're putting next to the exit. So if you create an exit 1, you need to put player start one near that exit. Oops, oh yeah, I gotta press escape to deselect. So now we're done with that, it's all set up. Now we need to create player start one to match the exit number one. And um, we will also want to go into main under things and templates and change the orientation to look downward so that when the player comes out they will be looking they'll be looking down here and I'm gonna make sure that this is aligned to the top there okay and I'm gonna press spacebar to make a duplicate spacebar again and spacebar one more time so now we got a multiplayer friendly map so just remember when you're making an exit that exit number is gonna match the player starts that are gonna be spawned near that exit so if you have so since we, I set this to an exit number one, it needs to have player start one near it. That that keeps things consistent, and it, and it makes it easier to create our hub. Uh, I'm gonna make a little shed out here that's going to have a uh, that's gonna have a double door, and I'm gonna show you how to create a codex link between one object and another using the codex linker. So let's uh, let's start by making our brush here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be as lazy as I possibly can. Use a pre pre existing texture. Notice that when I created my brush, I was eas I was immediately able to assign whatever texture I want by right clicking any kind of object. You can even go in and assign whatever. You can go in and assign that that texture to it or any type of texture you want or a texture that's already in the world if you right click on that that surface so I'm going to focus in here and create a little shed I'm going to just be lazy and make a hollow I'm going to select one side I'm going to press backspace to delete so shift, shift, hold shift and uh, left click to select the the, uh, the surface, to select the brush, and then backspace to delete it, delete the selected uh, brush or object, and it works on anything. So all right, so we're, we created something here. Um, so now I'm going to create like a double door um, sort of thing. So I'm going to find something that could be a double door. So I'm going to use that that texture for it. So you can also select a texture from the start, and when you create your brush, it'll automatically have that texture on it. So now I'm just going to 
build one brush side here and build another to represent a double door so now okay so I'm also going to go into surface inspector and change the sizing information of this oops need a vertical adjustment let's make a vertical adjustment here nothing perfect if you want perfect do it yourself there we go so that quickly set that up it doesn't even look right but whatever 